Kenny, I was asking uh, Sad about uh, what's fun about playing on the road. Why, why is that enjoyable for someone you know, like yourself as opposed to a home game? Uh, just give us another opportunity to go out there and showcase our talent and, um, you know, dominate the opponent. You know. What's the biggest adjustments as an offensive player you have to make in the game? Like, I mean, when you got the crowd numbers yeah. going. The deep, well, that's one thing, too. Um, adjustments we make. You know, we might think a, a team coming out in one, you know, formation and end up changing to another. So, mm -hmm. that, you know, you just got to see what they – say they go from four down to three down, you just got to be able to adapt um, mm -hmm. on the move during the game and stuff like that. Um, you know, we got coaches that do that at a high level. And, uh, you know, they always can find out who's the, the nickel, or, you know, Sam and stuff like that. So, they, they, they do a good job in yeah. you know, not putting it on this. How much enjoyment do you get out of – spoiling the party when you go on the road, you know, playing in front of tens of thousands of fans that aren't for Georgia. And, you know, when y'all go out and win, how much enjoyment do y'all get out of spoiling that party? I get a lot of joy out of it because I ain't had this in high school, um, playing in front of all these fans and like that. So I always wanted to be in front of a lot of, uh, playing in a lot of fans and like that. And Georgia fans, just for them to be able to travel wherever we go, is crazy. And um, you know, hearing the other fans be quiet after we go out there and do what we do, that's that's what gives me, you know, excitement and bring our team excitement. So, you know, that's all we look at. That's How's the Florida man like yourself handle playing in the cold like last week in Mississippi <laughs> and next this coming Saturday at Lexington? You just gotta tough enough and you know, no matter where it's at, no matter the circumstances, you just gotta go out there and do your thing. Um definitely was cold out there though. Man. Like, <laughs> Can you, uh, where did the big series of growth you've seen out of Francis Robinson this year? Him buying in and um, really learning the offense. Um, you can see him as a running back, the way he run now and, and, and the way he, he look at things now, his, his mindset done changed. He's not just out there running like a high school, like he in high school and thing. You got to know where the ball puts the head and stuff like that and, and know your assignments and stuff like that. So I can see him growing and his mindset getting you know, a lot better. C Cedric was saying he kind of learned how to practice. Learn yeah, the guys got to practice. What, did, what have you seen from him on that kind of standpoint? How much have you had to bring him along in that regard? In practicing? Yeah. Just, um, he's a hard physical runner. He always going to be like that. Um, and, and everything he do is going to be physical. So just seeing him go from, you know, always being on the ground or, you know, making mistakes. Now it's just like, it, it, it's the game slowing down for him. Um, he getting to see a lot, of, a lot of different different um, defenses, so he knows what to expect when he see it again. Or, um, you know, that's 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 just the growth that you know, come along with being a running back at Georgia. As far as pass protection and that kind of stuff, how much can you teach him? You know, look for guys here and stuff. And how much of that is just you gotta actually do it in a game and get actual game reps done? Uh, pass, no, that's gonna take repetition and, and, and practice um, to get the feel of everything. Like another. 250 coming full speed at you, so that's going to take repetition. And we've been getting a lot of that in practice and stuff like that. And he's been doing well at um, picking up blocks and stuff like that. So, and he, like I said, he's strong physical. Everything he does is going to be physical. So he, he's going to be he's going to be good at that. Kenny, where do you feel like this run game is 10 games into the season? I feel like we've we been running the ball a lot, and I think at a high level. I say at a high level. Um, my offensive line has been doing a real big part of that. Um, I give them all the credit for, you know, opening the holes and being the ones that go into the second level because without them, none of that would have been possible. So I, I feel like we on a version, we still getting better. Like each each week we getting better. I feel like we run the ball tough, hard. Every running back that goes out there, um, we just, you know, playing Georgia football. So that's all. Okay, I think uh, A.D. Mitchell's come along. And do you think, uh, you know, how has he handled the not being able to much uh, this season. Yeah, he's coming along real well. Um, his injury, <coughs> his injury coming along well. He, he's back running. Um, I'll say he, he's getting the mix of practice again and stuff like that. Um, he's gonna be fine. He's gonna be real fine. Um, but I feel you say his mindset. He, I don't think he's worried about. It. He's trying to get healthy. That's all before he step back on the field. He's not really rushing it or anything like that. He just want to make sure he back to eighty. You know what I'm saying so. Kentucky has one of the better defense, run defenses in the SEC. Kind of, what have you seen for their ability to stop them running? You say, say that again? Kentucky has one of the better run defenses in the SEC. Mm -hmm. Kind of, what have you seen for their defense and their ability to kind of plug holes and stop them running? 
it's really like our similar to our defense. So it's really a, a blessing for us to be able to go against that every day. You know, get the looks and stuff like that. So um, yeah, they can plug holes and stuff like that. But like I said, it's like our, our linebackers do the same thing, and we kind of used to. We practice that all spring and in the summer and stuff like that. So it ain't gonna be anything different or new that we didn't see already. Um, like I said, it, the coaches throw a lot of a lot of different looks at us, and, and we get the opportunity to go out there and um, you know execute our plays and, and know what to look for and little things like that, like running the ball. Like I said different looks, um, formations, and stuff like that. So um, my defensive coaches and offensive coaches definitely put us in the right position. And, you know. How do you stay dialed in when, like the Tennessee game, for example, you got off to a really really hot start mm -hmm. and then. Dell rotates somebody in. How do you stay focused or in tune? You always hear about running backs trying to get in a rhythm. How do you stay in a rhythm when there's so much rotating and something going on? Uh, I'd say, I mean, I've been, I'm used to like waiting on my turn. I'm not, I'm not like a selfish guy. I want my, my other guys to go out there and do their thing. Because I, I know they know the standard and they know they can go out there and do what they have to do. It ain't going to be like a, like I go, say I get out and then one of them go in and then, you know, it changes, like the outfits changes or anything like that. We all, we all can do everything, you know what I'm saying? We can all run the ball, we can all catch, we are all blocked. So me having them, letting them go in and, and do what they need to do, they, it ain't no problem to me at all. Do you like a vocal leader on the sideline? Yeah, 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 I'm always, every time they come to the sideline, I'm telling them good run, good pickup, anything, you know, just to give them courage, you know what I'm saying? Especially the young guys. Um, Dejan and Kendall, they, they, they know what to expect. Um, they done played in a lot more games. And, and I, I'm still in their air as well, too, because like, I want us all to do good. I mean, there's no selfishness in the room. So what does having Kendall play. back do for you guys, you think? Um, as in the running back room, mm -hmm. definitely does a lot. Uh, he's a physical runner. He's going to get down here. He's going to be the one getting them tough yards when we need it. Like, on the, for instance, last week on the goal line, He's gonna be the guy that you know can get in there. I'm not saying that we can't, the other running backs can't, but he's one of the you know, physical running back, bigger. He's gonna be the one to get them tough yards, yak yards, you call them. So um, having him is you know a real big cat, uh, factor in our run game. How much do you rely on those power backs to get those tough yards in, in tough SEC? How much do I rely on? You guys as a whole, your entire team. I mean, like I said, we all can do that. So like. Whenever I know if we in the game and the, the play call, we you know we got to go out there and execute and do it. Um, it just it comes with being a running back. Um, you got to go out there, and get them hard yards. Um, you know we just make plays with the ball in our hand, and that's 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 how it is. That a Georgia being a running back. Going back to AD and, and when y'all do get him back, what does he add to this offense? Having him on top of all the guys that have gotten the reps in his place. Real explosive. Um, often can go back up and being uh, real, real explosive. You know the deep shots. Um, like I said, the running back, the running game been picking up because of the old line and stuff like that. So just being able to have him to, you know, go deep once we, you know, break a few couple runs and stuff like that. Had the defense come up and they run past the DBs and stuff like that. That's that just makes the more the offense more explosive. And um, Georgia's real explosive on offense, and you know the more weapons we got, you know, just the better. We talked uh, earlier about the weather last week. Have you ever played in a game that was as cold as that Mississippi State? They say 19 degrees or something like that? No, we got to like 30. 30? No, I ain't never played in a game. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to it. Um, I heard it's supposed to be snowing, hopefully. Uh -huh. uh, I ain't never played in snow. I think that'd be fun to be yeah, honest. Have I ever seen snow? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've lived in Ohio before. I've seen snow. <laughs> so, it snowed here last year, ain't it? Yeah. One day, yeah, I think mean, just bit. one day or two years ago. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was just yeah. a little bit, not too, not too crazy. Did yeah. you learn anything from Saturday as far as ways to, I don't know, really stay warm, but just kind of block that out and play oh, through Yeah, stay in front of the heater. <laughs> <laughs> I got about two more for Kenny. Kenny, Ken, you were talking a minute ago about uh, Kendall and the power runs, but we saw you against Missouri. I don't think I had a chance to ask you about that. You had a pretty physical six yard gain. I think people could hear that hit. Um, is there a different, was there a different mentality on that drive? Because we see a lot of cutting, we see a lot of finesse, we see you catch the ball, but was there a different mentality and when does that mentality emerge? That's, that's a good question. Yeah, it was a different mentality for me. Um, it was down, I believe, it was, that's the last drive, I believe, yeah. or something like that. 
the last two drives. We was down, and I just know we needed to, you know, pick it up. I'm on the offense. I don't want to cut right but I'm on a they behind, telling them, come on, we got to we got to pick it up, cause you know we ain't come here to lose. Um, and my mind said I had to do anything to help my team win. So when I seen him in the hole, I ain't had nowhere else to go. So I had to drop it on him, and you know they got it. You seen how it happened. <laughs> Uh, you mentioned Dejon earlier, and he's played a big role. This, what kind of growth have you seen, especially with the oh, fact he's, he's running the ball so much? Oh, a lot. Uh, Dejon always can. He was always the you know the running back that can make guys miss and, and get between them little cracks and, and finish. But just to see him out there doing it this year, um, I'm just happy for him to be out there and be able to show it. Um, he's a tough runner. Um, quick. Everybody knows. Everybody sees it. You know. And. Um, I just love the way he compete and, and go by himself. Go by himself. Um, he don't talk as much, but his actions speak louder than his words. Definitely, I see that. Thank you. Thank you.